Oh my god, I finally got the controller to work. Finally got the controller to work. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Oh man. I think we should just go straight to it. Because I just came back for like not too long. Maybe like about an hour. Yeah, let's go straight to it. I can skip the intro. Uh, but now I gotta... Screen. I finally got the controller. Had to be an Xbox controller. DS4 did it. I have the arrangements in place. Rover, you can come visit the magistrate at any time. Jusia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the city hall? Sounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> click, 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 click. You have something to say? I'm in jingling. Circle. Please return if anything changes. We'll post it on the notice board. I'm not trying to rush you, but this lockdown's dragging us. Us merchants need to make a living, you know. Okay. <laughs> Why is my grants package? It's Amazon. Oh no, Alibaba. Uh, I have no idea where my grandson's package is. Why is it taking so long to arrive? How about I send him some long whisker crisps? Dragon whisker crisps. The moon chasing festival is almost here and I still haven't heard from him. Moon chasing festival. It's a time for a reunion. But it's good news that the kids want to spread uh, their wings and fly far, isn't it? I just hope he'll remember these old bones uh, and I'll come back to visit me once in a while. These fossils are just rocks. I shoe. Hello, welcome to Jinjo. Need help by anything? Uh, how do I get to the city hall? Are you here to see the magistrate? Cross the bridge and take the elevator up. Someone will meet you there. Have a pleasant time in Jinjo. Okay. <laughs> Bye, song. <laughs> So it's a teacher, uh, all these kids. I wonder what Yui would do if she was here. Where's this Yui? Ah, oh, you're still here, Yui. She's my lover. Uh, both she and I attended the school. After she had graduated, she became a teacher. She had always treated the, these students as her children. Uh, she's a great teacher, but fate can be cruel. Now I just want to go fulfill her last wish and help these children go up well. I wonder if these children will remember uh, Miss Yui uh, when they grow up. Ling. Mr. Bosong, you look unhappy. Look, Mr. Bosong over there, he's always alone at night. Though I'm used to this solitude, it feels different now. Did we uh, make him angry? Recently, uh, Linger has been a good girl, uh, or is it because Miss Yuyi hasn't come back yet? But Mr. Bosong said that Miss Yuyi has gone on an official trip. Then Miss Yuyi will come back in a while, right? Why is Mr. Pasong still sad? Is the reason why Mr. Pasong is sad is because Mr. Pasong is actually afraid of being alone? I see it now. Ah, I see it too. Oh, oh man, I just see it. Uh, dynamically. Uh... Xi Yang. Bang! That's in the morning of the planet before the apocalypse. It's a broken symphony of uh, my stream not going right. <laughs> uh, sounds tight. It's your... Your... 
Yes, yes, we'll cut it here. The energy is just right. Uh, going to be better. This is the end of my apocalypse and the being of creative stretch of poems and the embodiment of my love for literature. Huh. Why is it so... It's definitely dynamic. It gets... Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, there's block nonsense. Just put a period uh, where you're stuck. Brilliant. I'm really a genius. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh. my glider. Can we just dive bomb like this? I can. Okay. Jump. 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 Oh, another beacon. Foul me. Oh, I just killed the bird. Oh. That dragonfly too. I didn't even get to touch the crafting yet, I just realized. <laughs> Slam. Uh. I see why this is <laughs> Nope. Okay. Cut. Ooh, nice. See some visitors in the city hall. Who's your special guest? That's the question I want to know too. <sighs> and away we go up. Oh, I can't jump. Dang it. Connections. <gasps> what is it? Hmm. I wonder. Joe. No. You didn't tell me I'm not. Hello, are you all here to uh, meet with the magistrate? Yes. Make sure your papers are right. It's really exhausting. Ever since the magistrate announced an important guest was visiting, the number of visitors to City Hall is growing by the hour. Times like these, uh, we can't let our guard down. Everything needs to be done by the book. The crowd keeps growing. Where is the important guest anyway? Maybe me? Seems like a lot of most things the important guests are the magistrate uh, spoke about. But it doesn't matter because the magistrate, Lydia Sanwa, are the final judge of that. So uh, that's why there's so many uh, returned away by the door. What do you mean I'm not the VIP the magistrate's expecting? Oh, yeah. Hang on, he's there. 
Father. Kill fate. Father, having trouble finding the father. I'm waiting for father to finish work. He usually finishes around this time, but he's told he has to finish all his work before leaving. He also told me that a very, very important guest has arrived in Jinzhou. So I'm a little curious. That's why I'm here. Just you? Nope, not at all. There are no monsters in Jinjo that come out to eat kids at night. Plus, with Uncle Yingda and the others around, City Hall's safe. Okay. Do you mean I'm not the VIP the sure. What should be done here? Hey, what are you doing here? You don't sleep at all? Always need to match your effort to the task at hand. Guarding City Hall is a duty given to us by the Magistrate Sanhua, and we take it very seriously. <laughs> okay, please don't interfere with the duties of personnel and duty. What do you okay, MB. Time is it now? Hmm. Almost time to switch shifts. You're gonna rest? There will always be another shift after this one. Or if it takes a toll on the health. My father always said uh, if we protect Jinjo with all our might, Jinjo will protect us just as fiercely. A single overlooked detail could spell disaster, especially under the cover of night. What do you mean I'm not the VIP the magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself. I, think I already talked to Jinjo, right? Hello, to schedule a meeting with the Jinjo Magistrate. Please submit the necessary paperwork. Okay. Okay, in that case, just produce it when you're in the meeting. It's part of my duty is uh, to all guard. Okay. I have the reasons. There are two guards over there, champions. Of the, um, they're leaders. Uh, why don't you trust Shembi? Since her father died in the war, she's always wanted to complete her father's unfinished business. That's why she signed up to be a city hall guard. If not shining as a midnight ranger, she's finding other ways to make a mark. But you know, they're, they're young and are a few days on guard duty has them so stressed. I do find it concerning. So. Yeah. Did we see? Oh, yeah, we already. Should, yeah, this should be. Shuhei? That kid's got all the strength in the world. It's just that sometimes when she decides on something, she will never change her mind. She's straightforward and a bit stubborn. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Did we get to talk to all guards? Just realize. Okay, not all of them. Yeah, those. Those are bull pups. My floating sword. Alright. It's time. Ew. First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non staff personnel here before. Are they all here for an audience with the magistrate? Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Hmm. Not by food. Most people were advised to leave by the magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people or just too stubborn to leave. Definitely the latter. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sunhua and they were compelled to leave. Yeah. What kind of description is that? Sounds like you've met some snake haired lady and got turned into stone. Sandwalk. She's the magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round death glare slash terminator ice beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. There is a small hmm. chance she's not in the city hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the magistrate to leave Jinjo at all. Security at all times. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the magistrate of Jinjo, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Unless she's engaged on a business trip or when Jinjo's safety is under threat. Probably the latter. Yep. There's got to be something big, if that's the case. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Can a holographic message be pre -reported? Sure it can. They can. Have you thought of something, rover? Mm. You 
one or the other two. I can't really keep up with your thoughts, but I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Same here. Anywhere a magistrate's the best lead we have for now, no matter what she has in store for Rover. Do you huh? think? Me? I'm just wondering how to take you, Yang Yang, and Baijiu for some chow after this. Hell yeah. But my shift's almost coming up. Don't know if we'll make it. Hell no. I don't have anything particular in mind. It was me who... Uh, I mean, we took you to Jinzhou. I think we should keep you company. At least while you're still here. Oh, I see. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? In so. that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. Uh. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. He's the gourd. Magistrate's expecting. Go see for yourself. So let's go. So there's three. So that's City Hall. You know that one was a TikTok where like that guy's making the wire tree. That was so sick. Look at this place. Holy. Damn, no climbing the walls either. It's serious. Look at the bamboo. The architecture, look at that. Please, follow me. Got it. Oh, look at the pool. Kindly have a seat. I'm gonna take a stand. Look at that. Holy shit. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Thank you. Sanhua. Is that tea? Oh, that lady on Sanhua. Jesus. She's got the eye of the... What is that? Whatever that call it? That tacit Discord. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madam Magistrate. Uh, I'll be over. I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Why is she away? Madam Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Business days or regular days? Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. 
Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Any having her? Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Damn. To be dirty. Why three days? Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Eight hours a day or like ten hours? Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. Okay. I'm down for anything. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. Got it. I'm so sad, when it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. And nothing but the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. All right. That's all I got. All right, sir, I was the guest. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Mm -hmm. I heard many people were politely asked to leave. Regarding that. She can see with her right eye. My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You. You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. What does my frequency look like? You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. What do other frequencies look like? They all look different. Really? For some reason, you can't tell Shua doesn't want to continue this topic. Damn, really? Come on. May I have your terminal for a moment? What do you want I to... need your terminal for access pass authorization. In the meantime, I will configure the latest utility modules for you. Yeah. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. Oh, wait. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. Really? Sensor, levitator, and grapple. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. Okay. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Let's go. Also, may I ask... Have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the city hall. Uh, I will lead home? you to your room if you need. Oh. Uh, Understood. Necessary. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Thank you. Black. F oh. Circuit. Maybe dark free the rest of the room, but I guess some. Okay. Energy, small device. Finally crafted device, smoke paper, text. Oh, I did. Blah, 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 blah. Sugar pearl. Uh, okay. 
Huh? Anything I can help you with, Rover? Uh, of course. You. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. I'm afraid not. I have never seen you before. Huh. If I had, I would never forget you. Anything I can help you with, Rover? Uh, Jinjo. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? The hell's a minute, Ranger. The Midnight Rangers, under General Jian's command, are a garrison in Jinjo. They consist of the vanguards for offensive operations against tacit discords and the rear guards for city defense. Okay. Additionally, there is a detachment unit called the Outriders, mostly made up of volunteers or reservists who serve as reconnaissance agents. Got it. Most of the servicemen of today are comprised of resonators. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? Jinjo is not the most populated city in Huanglong. Mm -hmm. As really? a border city, it is the front line encountering tacit discord outbreaks. So, oh my god. <sighs> Jinjo holds a special place in my heart. I can't say I am too familiar with my hometown, but I do feel a homely sense of attachment to Jinjo. Maybe it's because here lives a person who changed my life. Hmm. If I were to introduce Jinjo with my own words, I'd say it's a city one would easily grow attached to. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about Jinjo? Anything I can help you with, Rover? Uh, Magistrate. Of Please feel free to... Our Magistrate's oh, birth shit. name was C. C. She took on the name Jin C. When she became the magistrate of Jinjo, nowadays she is usually addressed as Madam Magistrate. Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Sentinel Jinjo in the Magistrate Jin. She is also known as the Loom Maiden. Dragon Maiden. Because of her resonance connection with our Sentinel Jue, Jue. who manifests in the shape of a loom. The ways Huan Long's magistrates interact with their corresponding sentinels can differ. In Jinjo, our magistrate seems to share a familial bond with the sentinel. Hmm. Though this is what I understand from what she has told me. I have only seen our sentinel a handful of times. Only a handful? Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything. And it depends on Madam Magistrate and... It depends on your decision, Rover. Please pardon me. This is all I can say at the moment. Of course. Please feel free to ask me any anything I can help you with, Rover? Tokens. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about the tokens? I suggest looking into where these tokens come from. Examine their locations of origin and explore the sites or past events they represent. Then, you should uncover the message Madam Magistrate wanted to convey. And hopefully, learn everything you want to know. With pleasure. What do you wish to know about the tokens? Of course. It is fully up to you. With pleasure. What? Anything I can help you with? I'm out. Thanks for something. Okay. Bye. One with sounds. What time does that say? Is the, does that say 18 or 20? 18... Okay. That's a sick clock though, I'll tell you that. Oh. Street. Uh, okay. Uh, delay. 
This just isn't right. What well, seems to be the problem, sir? Why well, give up just because Santa will turn you down? Is there something I could do for you? You don't understand this support. I need to speak directly with the Jinho, uh, Jinjo Magistrate. But now everyone's excited about important guests coming to Jinjo, and even City Hall can't keep up. Maybe, maybe I should come back another day. Chatterbox? Uh, she's not the chatterbox. <laughs> so Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Sadly. <clears throat> Why the f I long face hang on. <laughs> it sure is. Trisia, the increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now our magistrate's absence. Yep, yeah, it's definitely uh Plus, the mysterious rover. I'm afraid. Uh, well, that was your for dinner. You're the practical type. I'd love me some chili sauce tofu, ginger mao chai, <gasps> spicy meat slices. Oh, I'm starving. Wait a sec. We still need to meet up with Baijiu first, right? Do you have any plans, rover? Let's first get that. Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? Here's the tokens. So, what's so special about them? Uh, black fruit. This is a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. Probably. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. I'm wondering that, too. It's a leaf. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think... I can feel something from it. I feel hunger. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. What's the candy look like? A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls. Sugar pearls? But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Like, not a trend, maybe. Like jawbreakers. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. Ah, uh, I remember flu shots. I never- I got the nasal spray first before I got shots, before I wasn't afraid of shots anymore. But I never got candies. Damn it. But... What does it mean as a token? There's this small device. Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. It does look like a sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day. And Shuchan. every shichun is two hours long with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. Earthly branches? And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. White the tiger! Bird what? Stands for the white south. tiger! And finally, we have the Let's black go. tortoise for the north. Ooh. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But 
How can it work when there is not a compass attached? Mm -hmm. Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Hmm. Wondering too. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. Too much brain power. All right. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? Hell no. When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Uh. Let's go by my All right. Baisha's still waiting for us. Baisha, I keep forgetting. It's Baisha. Oh, not to throw my blade, but you know about these candies. Hello. Should they go to Sugar Pro and ask if she had seen it before? The little girl shook her head timidly. After a tense moment of silence, the little girl seemed to have finally made up her mind about a great sacrifice. She offers you her hand, revealing a small piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, I, I don't have candy like that. But I got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. Thank you, but why? Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. Aww. Ooh, piece of candy. Use the grab. Oh, we're actually gonna use the grapple. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. I just installed some apps for you. Please try looking for one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Utilities? Utilita! Your function utilities. Assistant modules installed on your terminal device to make different circumstances during your exploration. So. Oh, it is. they're just there then. See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you oh. go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Oh, we gotta do that again. Oh, man. Wait, do we hold it? Really, it gives us a 10 second... Oh my god. Sort of get it. Okay. No, we gotta go back up. Uh. Oh. Let's. We gotta do this again. <laughs> Bird eggs. Ooh. Let's try that again. I, I want to see that again. One with the sounds. <sighs> dash, 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 dash. Oh, up and away. Okay, there we go. 
Glide. Is a challenge? That was, a, that was a complete challenge. Synthesizer. Oh, wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. No. Sorry, Rover Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Ah, oh, Shafei. Stop! Stop! Don't call me that. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Damn. Rover, let's go inside. Synthesizer. What is this? Get synthesized potions, crafts, or purified materials. Oh, okay. Give me a potion. From seven site down. Oh, okay. Uh, you're on resonance in co op mode. Shoot. Okay. Open that chest. Expected discovery. Oh, beacon. That's real. It, it's like tied to the string on my back. Ooh, flowers. Okay. Skull. She hasn't replied to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Oh shit. You can. Should I join Mr. Mortify's project? Look, would you swear my decision? Ah, you must be Rover. What can we do for you? Who the hell's Coco? Coco's my little sister, and she's currently the acting manager at the Shifang Pharmacy. Yesterday, Mr. Portefi invited me to join him uh, for one of his projects, but joining would mean spending even less time with Coco. Why is this project so appealing to you? I don't want to pass this up. It's just more than a project. Being able to work alongside Mr. Mortefi is an honor itself. He's probably the most respected researcher here, just behind our principal investigator, Mr. Zhang Li Zhao. Uh, he's great at fending off unreasonable client demands. He rejected over 40 of them in his first week alone. Jesus. He even treats us to afternoon tea. He really looks after uh, uh, for us. Who's more talented than this Mortefi? Mortefi's been uh, trying to uh, do him in research, but it's not easy. Zhang Li is just built different. Ooh. So Zhang Li, you'll see what I mean when you meet him. Okay. Safety's project. Oh. What was me in the project? If being alongside the workers on itself. I respect the research here just behind. Yeah, it's not going to go. Da 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 Okay. The previous prototype almost met all our needs, but we're wondering if you can further optimize. You actually talk. Anyway. Let's try asking him, shall we? Oh, what? You need something? 
I refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. Got and it. you are. Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baijer, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. No, you didn't. <laughs> Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baijer should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. Okay. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. The detection stage lets us see all of Jinjo's train, uh, helping the Institute spot abnormal energy spikes quickly. Shao, she swings by regular updates. The Minute Rangers are out there holding the line and can sometimes spot our devices miss. Uh, okay. Oh, oh he still has, okay. Uh, Mrs. Shang is super attentive. She helped us dodge change more times than I can count. She's been in the job since I joined the Rangers. She intimidated me uh, at first with a serious demeanor. Ugh. Okay, let's just go to Baiju. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the city hall? Yeah, tokens and all other stuff. What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always yeah. straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Okay. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. The sundial. This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight, and its design differs from that of the typical sundial. And it appears to be missing a part. See? There's a groove here. What? It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure, sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. Oh, yeah, in a while, Karka. Oh, no. Sounds come forth. I forgot to check the uh dang it. No, I'm pretty sure I hit that. I hit the beacon. <sighs> yeah, I did, okay. Just... Enter. 
check my body. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Yes, do you I have to... any questions before we begin? Uh, do I have to do this? Based on the samples collected, the tacit discord you defeated was at least an overlord class. After defeating it, you seemingly absorbed its frequency energy with your bare hands. Overlord. Tacit discords are classified according to the concentration levels of their characteristic frequencies. Generally, tacit discords with higher concentration levels are considered to pose greater threats. The current classification levels, from lowest to highest, are common, elite, overlord, and calamity. Additionally, there is a special type of tacit discord, and we call them the Thrinodians. Thrinodians. I'm an elite. Huh. Do you have any questions before we begin? The hell's an echo? When a tacit discord is eliminated, its frequency energy may linger in the form of an incorporeal manifestation, which is known as a reverberation. A resonator's terminal collects and records said reverberations, mm -hmm. turning them into echoes that can be directed as desired. The combat abilities of these echoes can then be replicated through the terminal's data bank module, enabling resonators to use them in battles. Additionally, some echoes' abilities allow resonators to briefly transform into their shapes. Mm -hmm. Yes, to some extent. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Let's can go. you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Uh... <laughs> hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. Well, I turn into a monster. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. The hell's overclocking? When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte, causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. Oh. I use that as a metaphor to express my speculation. If such a thing existed within you, scientists would be eagerly seeking to understand it. There are so many mysteries about you worth exploring. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Yeah. the Academy's simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. One with the stones. No hesitation. Mm. As Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless's energy. Oh. Now, 
we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Let me be your blade. Oh my god. Oh, I got hit. Oh. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. Ooh. Fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your Ooh. resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Oh. Swift and resolute. Strike from the shadows. Moment of resonance. I have gathered all the data we need. <laughs> the test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. No! Rover, can you hear me? Hello? Uh oh. The comm line is dead. Something's you wrong. You talk? Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Uh oh. Huh. I'm back to the same spot again. And this. moon. Ooh. What is happening? Are those. tacit discords? Uh oh. now the connection was suddenly cut off rover do you still remember what you saw hmm. uh -oh. can you give us some more details oh uh. Giant tacit discord with a scythe. <laughs> it doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This oh. is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. Mm -hmm. The sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. Mm. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Hmm. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. Is I'll also over? check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. I will. And beam. Oh.
Okay. Oh, here's where the fucking paywall is. I am Baiju, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Uh, Let me it. witness where this encounter. Oh, you have to look at these skills? Oh. Eating these Cheerios in my mouth. Oh. When they attack. Let's go. All right, where's more taffy? Show me the tokens. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. Hmm. It wouldn't have taken me this long this if we were dealing with out. tacitite weapons. Sorry if I fall out. It was in my mouth. Install the missing oh. part, <laughs> then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, <laughs> I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. I had cherries in my mouth. Sorry. Sorry, Ash Cross. Yeah, but this is a new account. This is my first time actually playing it. Uh, brute force. Well, it. that's a no-brainer indeed. We can certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. Yeah, it's a simple uh, corner. <laughs> what is it? I just. I'll try. I'll try as possible. Well Feel free to follow because I stream a whole lot of different stuff. I might play other it's games like this at some point data. in the future. Good taste. But I hope you're having a good day, well, Ascross. Since you've put it that way. Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? And thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you, uh, my incognito world. Uh, feels like pretty good. We cut. haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. Uh, 
And he is natural as a hand. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. I'm gonna... Over. Let's come back later, shall we? I'm gonna give him some space right now because I gotta grab me some water. <laughs> it's, I'm just gonna leave it on. I, I'm, I'm trying. Give me one second. I'll come back. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now. Bearing witness to everything I've experienced on this journey. Okay. Uh can you guys see the surrounding or talk to the I guess we'll investigate a little bit. This, is, this hasn't been going uh, too bad so far. Although it took me like a good like bit to just switch to controller. I'm more used to controller then. Uh, do we not miss it? Grand library. How far? How how long have you played this game, S Cross? If you if you played it, if if you're here. <laughs> okay, I guess I think it was just talk to Chaffee. Hmm. Yes, of course. I've oh. already noticed all that you mentioned. I, we're not enough. Like I, Indeed. I shot controller just controls. Out a blind spot in oh, my shoot. thinking. Your workshop, that hellish place. <laughs> Stop sweet talking me. I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Hmm. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll oh. draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. He doesn't want to talk to Zhang. <laughs> Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. Hmm. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Let's go. What? Oh, uh, is this Shangli? I mentally prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks much better than Mr. Mortify's description, though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. Hmm. Oh, we can start where um, all the weapons are. This should be it. Have you been enjoying it's the game? Quite That's a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Keep eating. Oh man. Oh, let's talk to Mortify. Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. Good. 
Bring it to me. The test results are in. I'm all ears. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, oh. I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena, and the lament was the start of it all. Oh. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. Oral vaccine for a sugar pearl. A placebo. <laughs> this sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. Oh! The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? Huh. The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. Mm. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? Mm. The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. Oh, wow. So, the disks are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthy branches represent time, the four symbols represent cardinal directions. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Oh? Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives. Namely, the grand libraries. Huh. The grand libraries. Yes. The large data repositories located in Huang Long's major cities. Really? The Academy's God. public archives are organized in this manner, too. Hmm. Oh, oh man. Okay, we'll just take this one now. Document. I found it. It's located on the way shelf. Way shelf. Mao Cheng Si Wu Wei. Prover, it's here. Right there. Archive: Sugar Pearl Vaccine and Tacit Discord Outbreak. Abstract. Noah Fay is an acute infectious disease with no effective treatment, primarily affecting children under six years old. It is highly contagious with severe symptoms including fever, limb pain, and muscle atrophy. To combat this disease, a live vaccinated vaccine has been developed and successfully passed phase three clinical trials on June 16th at 3 p.m. It's three o'clock here. Oh my, oh no, it's, it's still ice up. Uh, the medical section established a specialized team for this te uh, vaccine's development. This review aims to analyze the research progress of the vaccine and provide valuable insights for further studies. Results have shown promising immunization outcomes, making this vaccine a potential solution for preventing Novafe infection. 1. 
Preliminary Application of a Neutralizing Antibody Detection Method for Nova Fay Suedovirus. 2. Efficiency of live attenuated vaccine against Nova Fay Suedovirus via injection. And 3. Clinical Trial Report of Oral Administration of Sugar Pearl Live Attenuated Vaccine against Nova, Nova Fay Suedovirus. And oh, there's more? <laughs> Is there, is there a lot of uh, uh, story in this game, Fast Cross? Just wondering. I got okay. I gotta scroll slowly. Where, where is it? Okay, there we go. Oh, I guess. All right. Okay, so we'll use a mouse. Uh. Okay. Appendix 1, Clinical Trial Participant Registration Records I. Registration number CTR302001, name Zhang Li Yan, gender female, age 29. Was she the test? Uh, condition healthy, no hurry, Jesus. Yeah, trail, trial stage, phase 1, clinical trial. Oh, man. Zhang Li Yao, stage 2. Tangly Yan and Yao. Oh, they're different. Oh, me and my reading. Okay. Uh, gender male, age seven months, condition healthy. Uh, no hurry to diseases. Trial from stage one. Okay. Message from uh, section. Tangly, is it really okay? Response Someone has to test it. I'm willing to test it on myself and my son. Oh. Related report entries. No fake. Fever cases surpassed 2,000 within uh, death toll rising in April. Pashu uh, Academy forms vaccine research group under PI Zhangli's leadership. Jinjo TD outbreak paralyzes transportation and medical supply. Oh. Uh oh. Title Oral Nova Fe Fever vac Vaccine Live Attenuated Mass Production Quality Standards and Transportation Overview of Sugar Pill Reporting. Pashu Activity. Report and D E zero five one zero abstract. Uh, this report details the importance of delivering Huang Long's uh, medical supplies to Jinzhou, which served as the front line of defense against the TD outbreak. The Minnet Range is valiantly defended from the, uh, the city from the fierce outbreak, but due to the transportation of line blockages, uh, the second generation sugar pull vaccine, known for its stability and suitability for children, faced challenges in reaching the city. Fuck. Uh, this report outlines the quality standards for mass production and transportation of vaccine and other medical supplies during the war, with the focus on ensuring their efficiency and safety. The innovative use of more stable second-generation vaccine played a crucial role in protecting the citizens of Jinzhou from the TD outbreak, making it a valuable contribution to the battle against this deadly disease. One, qua uh, quality standards for mass production of vaccines. Two, management guidelines for storage and transportation of vaccines three assessment of current tr vaccine transportation methods the transportation of the second generation sugar pill vaccine is a critical step in combining the td outbreak combating TB. in response to the challenges posed by interrupted main transportation routes and the treacherous terrain a thorough plan was implemented refrigerated trucks equipped with temperature monetary equipment were used accompanied by professional technicians to ensure proper storage and transport conditions Additionally, due to the severity of the epidemic and time sensitivity of vaccine delivery, medical supplies were divided into seven teams for transportation. The assistance of resonator counterparts was vital in navigating through the difficult terrain and, was, uh, and potential tacit fields. As of August 5th, only one team successfully arrived within the vaccine expiration date, thanks for, to the efforts of an unknown resonator who escorted us and eliminated the TDs. Attachment 2. There's more. Uh... Residents report of resonator involved in vaccine transport. Comment from, okay. Research number 31. Concerning the test report, the resonator that accompanied the supplies through a fierce battle displayed astounding stability in its waveform. This data is truly remarkable. However, I can't shake the feeling that I've seen it before. Yet, there are no registered resonators in our database with similar characteristics. What could this mean? Another comment. After some researching... I discovered that the data closely resembles the first resonator I came across earlier. However, since we didn't have the standardized resonator uh, resonance tests for us at the time, it was not included in our current database. 
I have duly noted and placed it in the pending section for further investigation. P.S. Due to health reasons, my supervisor has advised me to take medical leave. As a result, I have entrusted this matter to Section 34 and they will complete it the handover tomorrow. Comment from Research 34. The report doesn't seem right. It mentions a person who existed during the founding of our state, but the time span is too long for it to be the same person in both reports. Perhaps this character is from history? I'll wait till the 31st to recover, then inquire about this potential mistake. For now, I'll keep this report with me as it worked uh, three consecutive nights around the rest. Oof. Okay. Hmm. There are two photos here. One photo shows a group of researchers led by a woman in her 30s. Everyone looks happy. The other photo shows an infant in diapers with a slender hand holding a spoon with a sugar pill in it directed towards the infant. Huh. What is this one? Uh oh. Archive. Oh man. There's gonna be a lot of reading. Archive, resonance, evaluation, and report. The first resonator, time evaluation, year of way, AL, whatever that date is. Resonator redacted. Resonator blah, reports that major regarding the resonance effect of no clear time of awakening. A tacit mark is presented on the right hand. No visible post awakening physical alterations. Their tacit marks and a pupil display a golden halo uh, when they exert their forte. Resonance spectrum test shows strong sensitivity with multiple patterns, but the cause of the resonator's blank, uh, resonator blanks awakening remains inconclusive. Further examination is needed to determine the origin of their resonance abilities. Uh, analysis of test samples have revealed a non convergence rebel curve with a nozzle periodic waveform, which classifies blink as a congenital resonator. Overclock resonators blanks waveform graph shows elliptical fluctuations. The pattern of time domain is stable with no abnormal waveforms. Examination results are uh, determined to be within normal parameters, and blank bears no risk of overclocking. Uh, during the Battle of Gorges of Spirits, a resonator engaged in combat with an unidentified, unidentified tacit discord. Okay, the crownless, resulting in a high risk victory and resolution of the crisis. The morale of the army was boosted and they achieved the invincibility. Uh, three days later, the battle concluded in triumph with soldiers reporting seeing the resonator standing next to me, Jue. Uh, this event marked uh, the founding of Jinjo in the same year. And there's like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Jinjo Foundation Cemetery. Ceremony. Data loss must be addressed for the next phase. Okay. Got it. Okay. If I remember correctly, Jinjo was established during Jinjo. a year of Wei several cycles ago. The Jinjo City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Jinjo's founding. Hopefully my stream isn't crapped out to that. I hope not. And the formidable tacit discord well, that's, described that's here. That's fucking a lot. Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, four. Oh man, resonators. Whole team. Uh. Oh, we can already level up. Heavy damage. Uh. I wonder if we could pick a different one. Fusion damage. Could we switch this? Filter. Hmm. Version having damage. Okay. I think we pick this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I'll break her. I think we could change. Uh, 
think we take this one out. And then probably for that one we could put. Uh, no, we kind of want a close range on that. Uh, see how that goes for now. Okay. Rover, about the sugar pearl. Uh, oh. <sighs> Life has never been easy after the lament. But I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou, and severing all communication with other cities, desperation ran high. Words oh. are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed, they we it. owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the sugar pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... a hero? Rover, about the sugar pearl. About that sugar pearl? Zhenzhou was the most recent city established in Huanglong. The mountains of spirits running from north to south divide Huanglong in two. The capital and the five cities are located in inner Huanglong, while Zhenzhou is in outer Huanglong. The battle of gorges of spirits was the catalyst to found Zhenzhou. Hmm. Tacit discords were born in the Norfolk Barrens, and their invasion route was originally traceable. However, the emergence of the Crownless changed it. The Crownless is a tacit discord that embodies war itself. The hatred of the fallen warriors and the fear of the survivors are the ingredients for it. With the limited information available, some researchers have speculated its connection with the Threnodian. Mm -hmm. Threnodian? Oh shoot. Threnodian? When it comes to the Threnodian, there is a lot to tell. For now, think of it this way. The Threnodian is the most powerful tacit discord. The battle of the Threnodian that happened long ago was to fend it off. According to the reports, the Crownless is very similar to the formidable tacit discord we encountered. Hmm. Our sentinel, Jue, manifested before us in that battle. Rover. About the sugar pearl. Sundown. We have the symbol way now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. What do you think, Rover? Hmm. I've only seen our Magistrate once at the appointment ceremony, so I can't mm. comment on her personality, but her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Really? Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Counselor Chang Li due to the young age of the Magistrate. Lady Chang Li is our Magistrate's advisor and former teacher she once held a high position in the Central Secretariat, but she requested a transfer to Jinzhou. I've also heard rumors painting her as a cunning manipulator rather than a loyal servant. Sure. Let's look back on what we've gathered so You're far. Tough. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. 
The magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters, or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Mm -hmm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. Hmm. Okay, we got the sugar pill. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Wait. Tick is more weathered and robust compared to the other versions of the nice design for significance. Harder to maintain other mods. Right, I, let's, I just want to smash shit. I don't Patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? I just old. said he is in great health. No issues to report. I'm not old. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Mm, through. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Jang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, hmm. I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. Yeah, it's the hungry. middle of the night. Of course you're hungry. We didn't eat. We you took me All to the right, special. I still owe you a meal. Hell yeah. The night markets are closed though. Let's grab breakfast mm. at Penquas restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be Do you have a place mm -hmm. to stay, Rover? Mm -hmm. Talk about hospitality. Yep. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall, and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Yep, let's go. Uh-oh. Oh no. Huh. Oh, we found a good event. Oh, we could change the time. Oh, we didn't even sleep. What the heck? Gifts are falling. I'm on day five. Oh. Okay. Door. Ooh. I'll have to look after. There's a trial? There's a trial? What the heck? 
probably gonna ask it for it on the game. wrong but That was part of the challenge. It was. A, I don't. That shouldn't have been it. Sleep or I, I don't know. I missed the event. Oh, we'll, we'll try each one of them. Hmm, heavy attacks. Oh, there's a sweet spot to this? Wow, okay. Lotus Perfect! Oh shit. Here comes Uncle. You're in for 
Oh, we go. Attack four. Oh, okay. This is three. Just um... a <laughs> Aiming. That was a lot of sick, I was like, oh my god. Oh shit. I to grab my... No! Now let's do it again. Cycle of corruption. A change of perception. <laughs> like frigid death.
Oh my god. some dodge and all. to get a skill on hit. For a skill on hit, hold base side to cast heavy attack. Oh. Again, recovery HP of four tickets. Ruby shades to dodge counter. Oh. Oh, it's combo buttons. Oh my god. Break. Come on, guys. Get up. And this reverberation. Oh, she got shield. Oh. Trying to get a little more, okay. One with the sounds. Guide my face. Holy. Darkness it's a counterattacker. Oh my god. I see your weak the hour is upon us. Very sharp. Resolution. 
swift and resolute. The end has come. One with the sounds. Eradicate. I got, I got up. Like oh, that's a risky one. Oh, okay. Upswing. Oh, what the heck? Fold square and square. Dodge counter. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, that is was oh man, I gotta practice on that. Breakfast time. Mrs. Panwa, good morning. 
morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. Uh -huh. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. Nothing does. What do you say, Rover? Uh, I'd say... I like Looks it. like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Where the Hook, bait? Line, and sinker. Uh... Yeah, In case of an emergency, Rover, roll out. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? Mm -hmm. So it only took us one trip to the academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was going to make it easy for us to begin with. Yeah. What's our next plan of action, Rover? Uh, in this case, I think we'll just... Uh, we got, like, As mangosteen. for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. You might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Uh, we could. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? Mm. An ocean of stars, a dark haired girl, an inverted etheric sea. And the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits and the Norfolk barons. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. Okay, the etheric right. sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk barons. Mm. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norval Barons. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. Mm -hmm. The Midnight Rangers' frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Uh, sure Without a wrong. doubt. Yeah. All right, guess we're going to the gate. Anyway, trying to sneak into this. How to open this box? What's the matter? Oh, it's wrong. But okay, something's wrong. Uh, it's a chest next to me. I found it a lot of storage, but I can't open it. How about this? If you can open it, whatever it says. Cherish every gain. Impressive. You actually opened it. Spill of beans. How did you do it? I've been trying for ages. Using brute force to pry open didn't work. Did you try kicking it? Or did you use some kind of resonance ability? Oh, definitely resonance. Nice. Oh, gross. Ooh, groceries. Great food, great value. Come take a look. Gourmet rumors. When making clear soup, add a couple more edodes while uh, simmering. It makes the soup more flavor and the color brighter. But use seasoning sparingly to preserve the original taste of the ingredients. That's how you get the most delicious soup. Great food, great value. Shut. You've been visiting quite often lately. Bet you cook a lot in your free time. Me? I happen to know a thing or two about cooking. Has Panhua been talking your ear off about proper seasoning techniques? Well, let me give you the real secret to delicious food, preserving the ingredients' natural flavors. Take milky fish soup, for example. It only requires... Take milky fish soup, Why? for example. It only requires simple ingredients, but with care and dedication, you'll get incredible results. 
The fish becomes tender and melt in your mouth, while the soup retains its fresh taste. No need to drown it in seasonings. In fact, I'm going to bring her a bowl right now and show her how it's done. I'll make her see the difference. Oh, man. Soup sounds good, though, right now. Great food, great value. Welcome. We've got a variety of produce here. Uh, I want, ch uh, give me some chili. Thank you for shopping at Mahas. Your order is ready. Uh, I want, and then we gotta have some chili vinegar. Uh. Yeah, Thank you for shopping at Mahas. Your order is ready. Sweet and sour, ooh, sweet and sour sauce. Uh. Yeah, for later. I like how the cat's on here. Black. We resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our echoes can use them too. If you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. If Yan can fight, so can Jaiji. <laughs> As in her level. Yang Yang. Level up. Auto select. Okay. Max XP converted. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Is your XP? Okay. Voice. This is a testament to my. Hmm. This is will. I will. This is all Chase Brown. This is. I will. We will. This hmm. this we will. I will. We still will. I will be. The speed bread is. I know. Check. Check. Shadow fall. Shadow follows. Check. No. Nowhere to hide. And check. No. Uh, uh, you tap. Keep. Uh, uh, this. Hope. Uh, this. Uh, uh, keep it. Uh, uh, keep it. Uh, uh, keep uh, us. Uh, this. <laughs> a one sweet wind. So, and remnants. This is a testament to my con Okay. Can we level them up? Yeah. Oh, we just we just do that. Oh, we don't have the materials. No. Shang Wang. Yang Yang, did you hear that? I I is that someone crying and wailing? What? That should be the Midnight Ranges training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shisya. Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough. But I think Rover can handle anything he throws at him. Anything. What happened to we always deliver? Why not accept my order? I heard stories of a city in the clouds with buildings floating and connected by skywalks. I want them to express deliver me there. Their ads claimed where you desire our packages never tire. But I came all this way only for them to <laughs> see my own eyes are sorry about that. Uh Lolo logistics priceless domestic shipping with thing Huang along six promises first 80 80 bucks additional weight 20 bucks uh, 100 capital 100 okay it's shipping weight da da soak some sun at work yeah in a bit absolutely no rush not my boss pay 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 pay
that out. Hey, you speaking to me? Please don't talk to me, I'm working. Missing Jan's right there. You there. Looking to put on some training? Good training keeps you sharp. The enemies won't go easy on you out there. They won't. Available. Yeah, sure, still a challenge. I don't know what this is, but we'll try it out. All enemies in 300 seconds. Surrender your stuff. No hesitation. Oh, oh. I can't believe it. Storm, hear my command. Commence healing. I need. Take that. We'll take that. Oh man. Shoulders. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came back. It really wasn't. Outgoing march. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. Huh. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift, and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? You don't know what's going on. It's a big thing. Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Mm. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen. Nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. Mm. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. Oh. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Mark's coming with us. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. 
I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Please. <laughs> Just go Well, on. it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass. And no one would question it. Well. Sure. Okay, so I just went to the city, she tells you about the... Man, there's no extra... Well, I mean, I get there's no extra... Like... So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh... His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own, but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Hmm. Mr. Zhongye seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. Yeah. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but mm -hmm. with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongye has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. Got it. This mango scene? It's got some fresh looking leaves. Soft, springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. Oh, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. There's a bruise at the bottom. If you don't eat that part soon, it'll spoil. It gave us a slightly rotten. <laughs> I grew up in my sect on a mountain. Spent most of my time training with my masters. One day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Okay. Of so course. Another... Uh, does that mean? Oh, wait, that does not mean. Okay. Wow. <laughs> My meat. your weakness. An unexpected discovery. No, the fox went. No. Oh, it's over there. No. It's gone. Fragile rock. Rips it? What? Thank <laughs> you. 
go. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. Uh. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so hmm. if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. Oh, we have weapons. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh
The beacon? Hmm. Why are there so many people? Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. Oh, it's a fight. <laughs> Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I... I can't move. Oh, but please don't arrest us. We really had no choice. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, because we're so damn hungry. Oh, it's a... Then we found some expensive-looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we Jeez. thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? Nope. But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you, thank you. Hey, you, come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Watch out! Oh. Yeah, that one was always fishy. Uh, so, mm, a tough nut, ain't you? I just helped you. Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. Hand over your goods and grub, or face the consequences. We ain't messing with no kids, but don't test our patience. Just do as you're told. Don't make it tough on yourself. Ooh. We're begging you. Stop. We surrender. Take us in. That's not enough. No. Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed aside from what we see here? Hmm. They seem trained. These are not. Uh, of course, we're ordinary people. We we just we just joined the exiles recently. We done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang, didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Mm. And we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. No, I'm good. Wait, what I gave them was enough for them to make it to Jinjo, even when they are so many. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, 
What's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily in a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. Mm. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> yeah, fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? Well, that, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reached it with all those thorns. Mm. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Oh, uh, yeah. We should. Oh, okay. Repair. That same color. Okay. That beacon's fix. What the heck is this? Levitator? Oh, wait. Okay, wait, no, what the hell is this? Parallel perception. All of the horizon. Okay. Sure. We'll do that. The old, serious old man, what the heck? I just find such a hidden place. Uh, yeah, try. Excellent. To turn back, it's not what they like to include. Ah, shit, somebody heard. It appears. Oh. It's actually being me. It's always a momentary boss. What the heck is this? Oh, is it a platformer? Oh shit. Okay. Old man, I changed the next place. Oh, it's platforming. Okay. Remnants of the past. Thank you. Oh, I did not expect uh, platforms like that. I did not. Holy cow.
Shake the shapeless. Oh my god, I didn't think you could do this. Oh, you can hold it too. A baby, huh? Sounds come forth. What else do we have? Okay. We can buy various stuff for resonators. Uh, because we can't. Okay. Shoot. Text. Ah, tofu, tofu. Ah. Oh, that stuff. Like, I'm hungry. Man. What's the materials? Lemon grass. Ah. Oh. Don't even want grass. Bitch. Oh, there it is. Beacon up there. food now nice ginger skewers Ooh. I mean grass and chicken all oh, the Nice juicy steak, raw steak, raw foods, dog and raw food. Yeah. Come here, come, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You're levitating. Uh. <sighs> it's a bonfire. Hell's that? What the? Oh my God! It's a car up in his house. Rejuvenating snow. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. Keep it 
Oh my god. the car. Wow. Oh my god. Car replace. That's a good one. are blocking our path hmm. weird we'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon oh please be careful they look sharp hmm. maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them every gain. Oh, it's thorns. Ah! Uh, oh my Tell god! Me. So gonna be like a technical. Oh my god. Quite a few things. Oh. There we go. An unexpected discovery. Oh, pistols. Oh, 
There we go. Grappler kit. of the past. Lots of small little puzzles. Master Tianxing, are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. Okay. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Mm. Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang. An outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment, please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies! If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider? So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? What is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, wo huh? the wounded soldiers are being sent back from uh -oh. the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Sure. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. It's Most bad. people would it's... never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. Let's go check them. The inside? Oh, man. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just... Just a little out of breath. You're not okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. It's still not okay. I'll go find a medic.
Ah, okay. Yeah, another soldier. Still not okay. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will okay. you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him uh. still for me. Sure. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers. And now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May I ask where the quartermaster is? The quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Take the lift. Front line. Oh, okay. Oh, it's far back there. Jinjo. Death Rock Highland. Okay. Got it. Okay. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? Would you Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Ring. 
Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. Jinjo is the gate. The tacit supply is the... I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you. But I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Julian. So he never sent a letter home. Not even once. The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Julian was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept with the battle escalating. It's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep... Oh, now I remember. He should be currently... Sure. Yep. What, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. <laughs> it's a grenade. I thought that was a grenade. Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. Uh, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Uh, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Mm. Hmm. What more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and uh, that could cause some issues. Oh, yeah. It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. While tacitite weapons were being developed, the hand know. grenade was one of them. With the you know where the grenade is? Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhuyan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhongye to let him know he is safe. Zhuyan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Julian's feelings. However, Julian disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators. I too found what Zhuyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. <laughs> my masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. All tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. I promised not to use my forte in the battle, but Julian still couldn't take a sip. After his defeat, Julian seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Xian Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. All right. <sighs> oh, see, I was right there. Us running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, 
What is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us about the TD outbreak? If those tacit discords break through our defenses, it would be a disaster for not just Hua. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. You hear that? Ooh. Wind Rider. <laughs> Break. Tell the truth on the side. Fear no more. Finale. There we go. Oh, my God. To the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think... 
I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Tinglong. The Tinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's mm. also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Mm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an mm. anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Mm -hmm. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. Resonate with tacit discords? Whatever it is. Rover? According to Baja, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village in the Central Plains. Mm -hmm. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. Oh, she has pistols? Oh, no.
the lights out. Oh, it's a light dot. of the past. I sense your weakness. Expected discovery. <sighs> oh, that's hidden. Cherish every gain.
Rejuvenating snow. Administering first aid. You found it, and it's yours to keep. Village. Yep. Let's skip a few of these. Oh, another one. Ooh. This must be the place. I sensed something ominous from the leaf back there, but I couldn't pinpoint its source. These are the leaves. Now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. Test field has any special buff. Oh, okay. Grover. Something terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. I think I found something, Rover. Ritualistic wooden plaques. But why aren't they here? These plaques are usually... They seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else.
watch out. <sighs> Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? <sighs> Brother. <sighs> Help. Brother. Br Brother. Help. <sighs> Help. It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This Other tacit one discord. probably devoured the frequencies of humans, turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? Ugh. I'm sorry. No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation, Rover. I think I know what's going on here. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here. And the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Shuzia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Sorry, I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. This one. The area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look. There are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. These cards. Ah, uh, I see. The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. Fraxidus. The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Fusing humans in tacit discords? We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called Artificers. Ugh. Above the Artificers are the Overseers, Leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. Jesus. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxidus related cases. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, 
Who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of? Uh. You won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent so much time on it. So this is the one we saw. An area behind us. Ready to change though? <laughs> if you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar, cruel and twisted maniac. We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? <laughs> the girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Well, back to me. Aw, so you really care about her. Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Mm. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person. Will to begin with? I heard you've lost your memories. Uh. So it's true. Mm. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up. Or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. Mm -hmm. So you noticed. Oh, I am flattered. Uh. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. Uh. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Mm -hmm. Before you knew anything about this world, you are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. Mm -hmm. The world is a cruel place. That's why I'm here. <laughs> because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. But truth hurts sometimes. Oh, uh, you're different. <laughs> I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more as you learn more about this <laughs> world. Your true desires will surface, and our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. Ah, oh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. Mm. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around? So go ahead. <laughs> what do you see? Our skill ritual. Bravo! Didn't think you'd oh. catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? <laughs> Sada. I see you don't really trust. So they were right about you. You are indeed quite exceptional. I like it. Your keen observation, precise. Let me give you a couple more tips. Oh my god. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit. Now, Rover, 
The story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is it? I see. A clever move, but I'm not telling you more. You don't want to disappoint me so soon. <laughs> Come on. I see you're itching for strike now and risk being crippled. After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? All right, I'll propose. Page. I'm blank. Found it home. A nice uncle gave us a new book. Right in. Uh, scary, scary monsters. I'm so wrong. Trying to find this place. I'm sorry. It's okay. What you just hear? Uh, place is so nice. Day their birthday. Everyone's being nice. I'm just skipping right now. Ah. Oh, shit. Our story begins here. Once upon a time, in, a in the day, they toiled for food. Fables. Oh. But they always <laughs> draw from real life. The same story gets told by many. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations, like us now. This village marks the beginning of my story, so that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ah. Uh. Huh? Hi, a clever but I'm not telling you more. You mm -hmm. don't want to Huh? Oh, and don't try to throw. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. Hmm. So, so we can't question him. Huh? I see. A clever move. But I'm not telling you. You don't want to. Paper slips. One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. No, quite the opposite. With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed. They no longer had to struggle for survival. Mm -hmm. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god. What's wrong? Imagine you were one of those lambs. <laughs> you are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. It's up to the two of us. Huh? What? I see. A clever move, but I'm not telling you. You don't want to dis. <laughs> Can I see your itching strike now? After all this. What are you? Yeah, I think we probably just get to the fight if we do that. Huh? I see a clever move, but I'm not telling you. Don't want to dis. <laughs> I see your strike now. After all this f. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I knew it. Je well then, I s play nice and otherwise, you. What do you say? <laughs> I'll just go straight to you it. You never such a. Burning as you wish, then. Okay. Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna skip straight to the fight. <laughs> Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. 
Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Hmm. Oh, you found us already. Hmm. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. And I've got a scorchingly delightful welcome for you up ahead. Uh-uh-uh, don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. That was right there, too. Oh, Be such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all. <laughs> Tell me, do you want to be the rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the black lab can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors. Let me be your blade. Shape the shapeless. Swift and resolute. This is only just part one, right? Moment of resonance. Another dream. I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Mm. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Another one. Oh, the other one. Was this the one up the trees? Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. Mm -hmm. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? 
An honest and open exchange, or a highly risky gamble? Gamble. The choice yeah. is yours. I know how smart you are. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? All right. Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. Mm -hmm. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. Mm -hmm. Rover cannot free. It's fine. <gasps> Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? Oh. I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. Huh. The brother had mentioned. Could it be? Uh, uh. Yes. That is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover, can you fill me in on what happened? Yes. It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Mm. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? Mm -hmm. That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Hmm. What's the matter? Huh. Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. Oh my god, um... It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. Ooh. Little black. Drop it like it's hot. Drop. Go and pack it to the stone. Warp water. Look, the water is going down. Oh, what the hell? Drop I it like it's hot. I can't believe Drop. it. There is such a big opening down here. How odd. Another. This path? place should have been soaked in water. Drop it like it's hot. Everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. That tree. It's stunning. Please, save us. Are you trying to tell us about... something hidden here? Oh, what the heck? Where did it go? Uh, 
Oh, diary. Strange, I came to the village. Hmm. Pass of discords. Oh, what the hell? That girl just wanted to save her village. But those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold. I don't think we're going back yet. Oh. Sorry, Rover. Oh, we are. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place. Without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. Uh, the villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment. Mm -hmm. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Bless really? You. Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. Yes. Let's go back. Together. Act four. Oh, we gotta get Junior level. Okay. Oh, there's the dailies. Forty-five. Holy moly! Strategic adjustment. Holy! That's not strategic at all. Jeez. Back this. Oh my god, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh shoot, okay, maybe not. That's not worth it. Oh god. on the story, don't we? Level 8, and we gotta get another 3 more levels. Okay. We just go... Oh, it's just on the map. Red Plains. Third Red Painter. I'll right, we'll go back. Back to the city. Conception. Okay, there we go. Holy cow. Okay, so that that's actually it. <laughs> that's actually that's actually it. Oh my god. Oh.